Right guys, so following on from my last short video of the fish spawning, um, it's what is it, about three o'clock now. Um, they've been spawning all morning up until about up until about eleven o'clock. Uh, they've all stopped now. Uh, still quite a lot of foam on the surface. I think they're all sulking a little bit. I imagine I haven't actually tested it yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're spawning despite the ammonia a little bit. But I'm doing a water change where well, I turn the, the trickling up quite a bit. And um, yeah, they'll be they'll be alright in a couple of days. I'm uh, I'm not gonna feed them um, for at least today and then we'll we'll see how it's looking tomorrow. Um, Well, you'll see it on here but these spawning brushes absolutely rammed full of eggs loads and loads of them on there but I'm not going to be keeping them this year uh, I did do it last year but I just haven't really got the time to do it this year I've got somebody coming to pick them all up soon um, they're going to raise them on don't know whether you'll see it but the crasher guy is uh, looking really empty now uh, the Sheba is as well but, um, I've got a couple of other females that haven't spawned the Yamabuki Oregon that hasn't spawned uh, neither did the Hyatsuri they're both still looking pretty full so they may spawn again at some point over the next week or so we'll keep an eye on them but, Yeah, we'll see how they get on over the next day or so. I can see from here already that uh, the crash goal is not to scale off at the front there. Uh, it should heal up all right. They are a bit violent when they spawn, but it's just how it is. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna turn the air back on because it's really hot here today. I think the pond water is 22 and a half degrees or something now, so. Yeah, I need to get plenty of air into there. All right, so it's about nine o'clock uh, the evening after they've spawned. Uh, the the rope's gone now. Uh, I've passed it on to a guy. He's he's going to raise them. Um, so I've just not really got the time to do it this year. I'll probably do it again another year, but just just not got the time. Uh, but yeah, there's still quite a bit of foam on the uh, on the surface of the water. Um, it has cleared up, the water's cleared up a lot now, but the fish are all definitely sulking a little bit. Uh, I did a water test a few minutes ago and you know, as I suspected, my water parameters are, uh, are a fair bit out. My nitrite and my ammonia are both sitting up at about 0.5, which is, which is not good at all. Uh, so I've just dumped a load of water and well, it's just about refilled again now and I'm gonna leave the trickle in on pretty fast overnight so you know by the morning we'll have give it given it quite a good water change uh, I have also put a little bit of salt in the pond as well not not loads just enough to uh, reduce the toxicity of the nitrite because I don't want you know any any bad effects from that uh, I haven't fed the fish anything at all today uh, the auto feed has turned off as well so the filter should catch it up within sort of 24 48 hours uh, hopefully anyway but we'll uh, check back in a day or so you know all looking a little bit sorry for themselves down there at the moment but you know they'll be all right this is you know it's just what happens when they spawn it does really throw your water parameters out I mean that crash goy in particular she was really big really full of spawn you know she had loads of spawn to get rid of and yeah yeah I'm really surprised you know how much it's uh, how much it's affected it to be honest but I'll keep you updated on how they get on the uh, if you see at the back the Benny Kikikuru you can't really see it because it's down the bottom there but that's really battered up it's quite scuffed across its sort of shoulders and things I don't know what it's managed to do that one you know there's nothing nothing sharp in the pond but if it comes over I'll give you a closer look at that or if not give you a look at it tomorrow but yeah I'm gonna give you gonna 
keep a close eye on them in the, in the next couple of days. And uh, yeah, hopefully by tomorrow we'll have the water premises back to how they should be and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some more food in them again. Yeah, hopefully feeling a little bit sorry for themselves this evening. And yeah, they were flashing quite a bit earlier. Although uh, since I put the salt in, which you know reduces the toxicity of the nitrite, that does seem to have stopped now. Um, obviously that Yamabuki and the uh, Kikikura are both sitting up on the bottom. And there you can see the uh, the missing scale off the crash coil now. See how empty it looks. Had a proper gut on it, but it's uh, yeah totally gone now. Yeah, all looking a bit sorry for themselves today. I'll um I'll come back to you tomorrow when hopefully they're uh, hopefully they're all looking a little bit happier. Yeah, you can really see how how skinny that crusher guy is now compared to what it was like the other day. She uh, she certainly had a lot of spawn to get out. Right, I've um, just had these plants delivered uh, to go. I'm going to plant up in the uh, in between the trays on the backy shower. I can't remember exactly what it's called. I think it's called Mind Your Own Business or Baby's Tears or I think there's probably a technical name for it. That's it. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Um, I ordered two. I thought they were going to be a little bit bigger than that. And um, annoyingly, they're different colours as well. But <laughs> we'll, we'll plant it up and hopefully when it grows it will look alright. Um, what I'm going to do is wash all the soil off and then just try and sort of wedge the roots in between the shower and hopefully it'll uh, hopefully it'll grow. I'm going to try and sort of stagger it out so there's, I don't know, so hopefully it'll sort of mix the two in. But we'll give it a go. As you can see the fish are, uh, they've recovered alright after the spawning. Obviously there is a missing scale on that crash of goy. Um, the Benny Kikikuru kind of scuffed itself up a little bit but it doesn't look too bad you see the black used to be a lot darker it's almost like it's rubbed the black off which is really weird but they seem to be doing alright they're all still eating plenty at the moment anyway anyway let's get that in alright so I'm not sure how well you can see that but I've split all those plants up and sort of pushed it into the gaps in the shower. I've had to sort of push it in quite a bit just to make sure they're touching some water but uh, fingers crossed they'll grow. I'll update you on that in, in the next week or so. Um, yeah hopefully it'll be good. I did have some of it growing on my old shower in my old pond but it all sort of died off when I moved everything over. So it's been a full week since the fish spawned now and everything's sort of settled back down and back to normal really. Um, it's an exciting day today though because it is a uh, new fish day. Um, I'll show you that in a second but that's just floating in the bag there. Uh, before I get that out I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's been watching the videos, everyone who's subscribed and you know everyone who's, who's viewing it, giving it a thumbs up and everything. Uh, it's really appreciated. I've seen in the last few days we've ticked over the 2,000 subscribers mark which you know I never thought I'd have that many people viewing these videos so yeah it's really appreciated guys um, you know if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't be getting this fish because that fish was uh, paid for with the, the money that come through from the YouTube videos so it's yeah much appreciated guys and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be giving away this three stage dechlorinator um, there is some cartridges with it Although they were used for about four weeks in my pond um, so still got a fair bit left on them um, but yeah if, if anybody wants to win that uh, all you got to do really simple is uh, I'll show you this fish in a new minute in a minute and uh, just comment below an idea for a name for it um, or a name for any of my other fish for that matter I don't think any of them are named apart from this one that the missus chose which is called bling but yeah, it's UK only on this, unfortunately, just because of how expensive it is to post. But yeah, if anyone's after a dechlorinator, uh, just stick something down in the comments below and um, let it run for about two weeks, and then I'll, I'll pick a winner and uh, get that sent out. Anyway, that fish has been floating for about half an hour now, so I'm going to bowl it up and uh, let you have a look at it. And I'll do a quick scrape as well before it goes in. 
So here it is in a bowl. It's a Deutz Chagoy from Cuttlebrook Koi Farm. Uh, it's a really nice looking fish. It's a little bit different. Uh, it was actually sort of quite a lot darker on the scales on the top um, when they sort of netted it up. I think it's gone a little bit light just because of the, uh, the stress of moving. But yeah, really cool little fish. It's 27 centimeters, I think it is, and it's a uh, it's a tosai, so it's only one year old. So hopefully it'll uh, pile some size on this year. I've, um, I've already done a scrape on it and that's um, that's come back totally clear so we're going to uh, get it into the pond now if we can. Hopefully it settles down all right over the next few days. Anyway, stick a uh, stick a comment down below, ideas for a, a name for it, and I'll um, I'll draw somebody who's commented at random, give them that dechlorinator. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.